Hello friends, welcome to Python Programming Tutorials. In this class, we are going to discuss about functions in Python. So what is a function? A function can be defined as set of instructions. Python allows us to divide a large problem into the basic building blocks known as functions. For example, we are going to do solve one large problem. One large problem P. Now we are going to divide this problem into functions P1, P2, P3, P4. Now you can call this problem 1 from main function, problem 2 from main function, problem 3 from main function and problem 4 from main function. Python allows us to divide a large problem into a large problem into the basic building blocks known as functions. Now, so P1 is one function, P23 one function, P3 is one function, so P4 is one function. So now we can see, so what, are, what are the advantages we have if you are using the functions in your program. The first advantage is avoid the writing the same code. So what that means? For example, in my program, I am going to do the addition operation 100 times. 100 times. In every time I am going to ask the input from the keyboard. So that means two numbers n1, n2. And perform the addition n1 plus n2. So that means for one addition we are going to write the three instructions. So for example 100 times I am going to perform the addition means so 3 into 100. That means 300 instructions I am going to write. So avoid the writing the same code. That means the same code I am writing. 100 times. So how I can minimize by using the functions we can see that. And next one is tracking of errors is easy. For example, so this problem is written in one program as a one program. Now we got the error. Now it is difficult to find which functionality is not working. So where we get the error. If you divide as functions p1, p2, p3, p4 now we get the error in p4 then we can identify that the error is in function 4. So reusability. So reusability is nothing but so we can write the function code once and simply by calling the function code we can execute the instructions again and again. So that we are called as a reusability. Now we can see so how to define a function in python. To define a function in python, we can use a keyword def space function name. We can give the function name. So for this you can follow the identifier rules, variable names, function name, open bracket and closing bracket, small bracket. And you can use column for indentation purpose. After that you can write the function block here. Okay, so this is the example. I am defining a function add, sorry, add, def add, so that means add, in this function I am writing the code a equals to int of input, that means I want to read the value from the keyboard, b also, I am read the value from the keyboard, print a plus b, okay, so this is how you are defining a function, how, def function name, write the function code. Now we can see how to call this function simply with function name and that's it. So add means the function is called, the function is invoked. So the cursor is uh, waiting to read the value 10, 20, it prints 30. If I want to again execute this instruction, then also I call simply add. Next it takes the input and print the output. Again I call add. It takes the input and print the output. So this we are called as a function call. Function call. So now we can see so how to call the function. So before that we see one point. In Python, all the functions are called by reference. In C, there is a concept of call by value and call by reference. But in Python, all the function calls are done by reference. So I am defining a function, the function name is function1 and it takes one argument 
list L1. So this is the starting point of execution. This is the first instruction. L equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the index. Print in main. That means in monitor it prints in main. So what is the L? L equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Function 1 of L. The function is called. That means, so this is the function. So let us discuss in flow control. So how we can control the flow means by using conditional statements for loop statements and transfer statements and by using function calls. Now the control goes to here. That means L1 equals to L. So for example, L I have some address 100123 is the L object ID. So L1 equals to L. That means L1 is also referencing the same object. Now L1 dot append of 10 means the 10 is append here. L1 dot append of 20 means that is append here. Print in function. Now we are in function. In function L1. What is L1? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 20. So after Executing after execution of this instruction, the control goes to here. Print in main L in main L. What is L? Is L is this one? It is also so that means what you observe the fun in Python the functions are called by reference. Okay, now we can see another example. So now we can see this, the same program. Now we are changing the data type. So how the functions are called? In Python, the functions are called by reference. In many entries, they are asking this question. So how the functions are called in Python? The functions are called by reference. Here I am taking s equals to hi. It has some object. For example, 100123. Zero, zero, in main, yes, it prints. In main, what is the S? H A I. After that, the function call is occurred. So, function 2, that means the control goes to here. S is stored in S1. That means S1 equals to S. That means the same S1 is also referencing the same object. So after that, S1 equals to S1 plus by. That means here we are going to add by. No. So why? The strings are immutable. We cannot alter one so you can assign. So after this, this instruction, uh, at this instruction, S1 is created. In this you are storing, what is the S1? Hi. For this I am going to add by. Now it have another address. So S1, hi, by. I hope you understand. So now it prints what it prints? In function. In function. What is the S1? I by after completion of this we return to here print in main yes in main what is the yes hi only if you are using the list the modifications are done why because it called by reference but here s yes, string is immutable so we cannot append by to the hi it creates another object, S1. Now we can see the execution of the program. So this is the function definition add.
so these are the function calls so three times i am calling this function at 20 30 it returns i call another time 1 2 it returns addition 56 76 132 so three times i call the function add now we can see how to call the function with arguments so this is the function call with arguments in previous example there is no arguments you can directly call the function add here i call the function with arguments so in the main only you are going to read the values n1 and n2 and you can give the n1 and n2 as a arguments to the function add now you can see the execution 10 and 20 sorry 1 and 20 21 is the answer so now we can see how the python functions are called in python all functions are called by reference so these are the two functions i define one function name is function 1 another function name is function 2 here i am passing argument as list here i pass the argument as string data type now we can check that so this is the list we are defining in the l so 1 2 3 4 5 see in function it changes as 1 2 3 4 5 10 20 so these are the ids if you observe that the uh, l and l1 these two object ids are the same 4 9 7 double 3 2 double 8 so next when we are written back to the main then also we print the same values why both the reference objects are same in coming to next function f2 so this is the high so after that we print the ids before going to modify the data so that means first i print here id of s id of s1 both the object ids are same so after that i modify the s1 the id of the s1 is also changed so 4980147 so after that prints high by when we return to main the s prints high 